and makes it 3-1. Here comes Carr. It's in the net. Goal. Oh, yes, folks. It's time for another edition of Best of the Best, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz Chicagoland Dealers. And this time, we are honored to have former fire striker Kalen Carr. This is a counterattack, and it was a long time coming. You were waiting a long time for this ball to eventually get to you. <laughs> well, it was a long time for me, too, because I had yet to score for the club, and I was um, starting to get a little bit anxious, I think. Yeah, will shoot. No, he won't. Carr takes a touch and makes it 3-1, and now the game looks to be out of reach. I'm just waiting. I got my hands up waiting. <laughs> actually showed a little bit more composure there than uh, than maybe I was actually feeling at the time because uh, I really wanted to score a goal and then be able to be in front of our fans even for the soft opening was uh, just an awesome experience. And then to score at home was uh, was even better. And, and the celebration was a little reminiscent of a, of a guy who used to play in, uh, in Major League Soccer and did the same thing at Highbury, if I'm not mistaken. That was pretty funny. I mean, Thierry Henry is a hero of mine. I think it was just literally maybe days after he had played the last match at Highbury. It wasn't long. And on the last day of Highbury, he kissed the ground after he scored, kind of say goodbye. And I was like, hey, this might be a cool little tribute to, uh, or a nod to, um, to kind of a new beginning as opposed to a goodbye. So people ask me about it afterwards. And it's definitely one of the goals that I remember. I always remember your first professional goal. This is the first year in the league for a man by the name of David Beckham, and you're coming on for our boy Chris Rolf, who did the most recent best of the best. Yeah, there's Profe with the uh, the tie tucked into the shirt. That's an interesting look. That jersey looks about four sizes too big on me too, but um, like a lot of games, especially my first year, was about coming in and just trying to bring energy. And yeah, the ball kind of just like pops to me. JT making a run in behind, kind of lifted up. He took it so well in that moment. And it was such a massive moment because that, that clinched the playoffs. So after the game, all the press circles around Thorrington and he's like, yeah, he's like, I don't know. I don't know who played me the pass. I think it was a deflection, but it came to me and it just, you know, I did the rest. And I was like, <laughs> looking at the paper and was like, What's up, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> I still give him a hard time about this to this day because, uh, you know, it was like such a moment where you're supposed to like pass it along to be like, great pass. It was a pretty good pass, I thought. I definitely, there was definitely no deflect deflection. I'd like to take this moment to set the record straight. This is taking me back because DC, people ask me what my favorite stadium to play in. Uh, in MLS as like a like on the on the road and R, mm -hmm. I always say RFK. It was a moment in my career that I look back on that gave me a lot of confidence as a young player. I just tried to just put it in front of Chad um, and he took it so well coming off kind of the outside of this boot here. Um, that's not an easy finish with your off foot at all. But yeah, it was, uh, then he, he runs over and shushes the crowd. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was one of the better balls I, I've probably played to be honest. <laughs> Consistently one of the nicer pitches and a good place to play. And this team as well, this Columbus team is the team that went on to win the Supporter Shield and uh, MLS Cup this year. So they were a tough team to play against. It's one I look back on fondly because uh, it came from this play on the left-hand side with Gonzalo and Justin Mapp. The way they combined together, two naturally left-footed guys, the way they could get up and down the line. Um, and then a nice little bump in there from, uh, from Rolfi to lay it off to him. But... Yeah, this was a big goal for me and one I ended up doing my ACL, I believe, in the next match. So this this looking back on this goal got me through some dark times for sure, where you're going into months and months of rehab. Um, and so to, to kind of look back and have had your last match score a score a pretty good goal was one that definitely um, served as some motivation to, to try and come back. All right, let's look at one against against Chivas and uh, and a familiar foe and a former Chicago Fire member who is between the sticks and you going around, Zach, is absolutely filthy, but you have a wide open teammate on the back <laughs> stick. And I, it looked like you were about to pass it off to him and then Zach comes out and you gave him a little dipsy do and you end up walking it in, but like, this is nasty. Were you going to give it to him? Yeah, I 100% should have passed that. <laughs> <There's> like, <laughs> you're, you've got a two on none, basically. <laughs> like, you have to pass that ball. So my touch takes me a little bit longer than I, you know, I kind of turn and he's like, he's right there. And from there, I realized it's almost too late to pass at that moment. Um, so I kind of just put my foot almost around it at the last minute to just bring it back over back to the right. I run straight to CJ because mm -hmm. I grew up in Berkeley, the Bay Area, and I watched CJ Brown play when he was with the San Francisco Bay Seals. And he kind of took me under his wing 
still a hero of mine um, and a club legend. I believe 13 years in Ring of Fire and all that. So um, for his last game to score on CJ's last game, I was like, yes, that's uh, it was a, a special moment. That was that was shaved head, Kalen. Do we do we have a preferred <laughs> Kalen in terms of in terms of form? Was yeah, I had a bunch of different looks from the headband to the uh, buzzed head to the helmet later on. It's uh, it's quite a ride. This is awesome. Thank thank you so much, Kalen. This is great to be able to to watch these goals with you. And you had so many big moments for this club, and it, this is just a lot of fun. Such great times, great memories being in Chicago with all the fans and Section Eight. Um, Chicago and the fire holds such a special place for me and and my family. Even my mom. Um, went to University of Chicago and so she loved the city and then she came back and would fly out for nearly every one of my games or as many as she could and knew everybody from Toyota Park from the concessions to the security um, and to the front office staff so um, can't wait to come watch it back at Soldier when uh, whenever that that moment is we can do that safe and sound but um, yeah save me a seat all right awesome thanks Kayla appreciate it man see you buddy yep see you guys. had a blast